Julian coming into two crucial games now, uh, force up Greece at home. Um, what what? How important is it for it to get a good home crowd? Like, how, what does that mean to the players when you walk out and it's it's a fairly good crowd? Yeah, I think playing at home, it's always um, nice. It's a, and then with a big crowd, it's really really crucial for us um, when we're playing to kind of have that twelfth man, as people say, um, to get behind us. And um, we've had some good crowds um, recently for the last couple of games. If we can get that again and even more, it'd be really appreciated I know by the girls and by the staff and the wider team um, so yeah hopefully we'll get it again this time. When you first started playing senior level it must be completely different compared to now. Yeah yeah things have changed quite mm. considerably um, support being uh, one of them so yeah we weren't ever getting the crowds we we're, we're getting now at the moment. I do still think there's a lot of room for improvement um, in terms of getting the bigger crowds and we can see that in the other countries that they're getting that yeah. um, so it'll be great to to get to that point at some stage obviously one of the big factors is qualifying for a major tournament and if we were to do that you'd like to think it'd be a springboard for that as well yeah absolutely i think we have a really good chance and hopefully we'll be able to get there and from that then that will kind of be the as you said the springboard from um to rock on and be able to get that big support when you're playing in the game, do you notice the crowd much or, or is it more in the, the build-up and half-time and stuff like that or do you kind of hear them during the time? Uh, you do, you would hear them. Um, I suppose it's probably different for everyone. Personally, I kind of am just zoned in and focused mm. on the game, but I suppose when you do hear cheering and uh, getting behind you, it, is, um, it does help, definitely. Um, especially kind of towards the end of the game, maybe if you're up one nil or if you're trailing um, to hear the support and even yeah looking around you want to put on a show for everyone that's made the time and effort to get out there. You had a little bit of a period away from the team obviously you, you know personal life you, things have changed for you work wise and that and yeah. location wise as well mm -hmm. during that time and compared to what you've experienced since coming back have you noticed many changes? Um, yeah there's been a few changes um, I think the media that the girls and the team are getting is um has improved quite considerably um and i think that more people are interested in it i think the world cup that just went by definitely helped with the women's game um globally and definitely here in ireland so, so i feel like things have uh, grown over the last two years when you when you're away when you were away from it did, were you kind of nearly envious every time the games came around when you're kind of on the outside looking in kind of did a party kind of feel you still should be there yeah um a part of me was always like oh i wish i was still there and i'd love to be playing um but that was the decision i made so i was kind of happy with that as well but all, was always keeping an eye on everything and would watch all the games and always cheering on for the girls so it's great to be back in the fold and in it this time Logistically, you know, when you look at the squad list, you see Julianne Russell, Sydney University. Like, how much of a trek is it for you to come <laughs> just to report in the camp? Yeah, it's a it's a long old haul, all right. Yeah. Um, Both ways. Yeah, it's about probably thirty hours all up. Um, I actually don't find it that bad. I'm a, a good traveller and I would sleep standing up. So okay. <laughs> I'm actually okay. I know for some people it would be like dreadful, but I get over the jet lag probably in a day or two. So it's not too bad. And yeah, it's just the weather is the biggest thing at the moment. <laughs> I'm going from a lovely summer to freezing cold and storms here. Um, obviously coming back in, and one of... Uh, your former teammates you've, you've played together nearly your whole career is Anya O'Gorman, uh, obviously in England, uh, you know, at club level in Ireland and yeah. international level yeah. as well. Is it a boost to kind of see her come back in after, you know, she had retired briefly? Yeah, I was, when she let me know um, a while before the squad was announced and I was over the moon to see her back in. Um, she's a brilliant player and has so much experience and still so much to give. So, yeah, I was smiling ear to ear when I found out. In, in terms of the balance of the squad, you, you do have like 
the likes of yourself and Anya, some of the more senior players, and then you have some of the younger players coming through. It's always important to find that right balance, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, you do need to find the right balance. Um, and I think everyone gels really well together. I still think I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, everyone gets on really well. You kind of wouldn't even notice the age difference. Yeah. So, it's good. You kind of ball got kind of being called a senior player. Pardon? You kind of don't want to be called a senior player. You don't want that tag. I know. Like. It's it's funny. Yeah, yeah. It's I still feel so young. So. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of obviously these games, uh, we, we played Greece obviously last November, so we so we know what what they're about. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, a late goal kind of conceded, but we still are unbeaten in the group, so we know what to expect coming in against Greece. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was an unfortunate result. Um, I feel like we should we should have won and put them away at an earlier stage in the game. Um, but it is what it is, and we can't go back in time. Um, but I think now we're really prepared for for this Thursday, and we know what to expect. Um, so, yeah, given the fact that we we still are unbeaten, so. It's, it's all to take for now.